Welcome back friends to another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Lids87 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be recapping Bosch and Terra to see how worthy they are of your precious tickets and or gems. Now a few notes to take into consideration as I progress in this video is first and foremost is that this new format that I'm trying to find my calling for is still under construction so to say I'm trying to see what works or what doesn't work so I apologize if it's not consistent right now as like the previous one when I covered uh, some characters recap them. I did it based off of the characters that were on a character's burst timeline or banners, for example, Ishtola, and then I recapped all of those characters that fell under her burst banners. And in this video, I'm just going to take that same concept, but instead focus on Bosch and Terra and just release it as these characters come out. So I will see if that works. Also, I know that you guys loved the format from the previous one, so I am carrying some of that over onto this Video. All right, friends. And second is that I am actually trying out a new visual format. Um, I actually started covering another game, uh, Disgaea RPG, and I kind of, I, I don't know why I decided to go with like the infographical approach to it. It just lets me play around a little bit more and I actually like it because it translates well to here for the pr presentation. So we are going to be trying that. And if I can, you know, keep up with the so to say, then this is what I will try to do going forward all right friends so again i apologize this is still under construction i'm still trying to find out what's worked to still make this enjoyable as i still love making content for this game all right friends so let's go ahead and get started uh just quick credits and shout outs though i did get my information from the materia bot the database and from the uh anton labs translations from reddit all right friends so i i'll get I'll find the links and put them down below in the description. All right, so the very first character we are going to be talking about and recapping is going to be Bosch. Bosch is going to be the other LD banner that's going to run alongside Terra's LD and Burst banner debut. So Terra's Burst weapon will be on this banner. Bosch will be getting his LD boards, though, upon his debut. So if you missed him up from before, now's a good time to pick him up. Or if you do have him already... Just enjoy the free LD boards. Well, you got to use your character points, right? If you do have them. So, Bosch, in a nutshell, he pretty much is a tank character. He is a tank character, not pretty much. He is a tank character that has the capabilities to taunt all the enemies while receiving the entire party's HP attacks. So, any AoE HP attacks that are heading towards your party members, he will completely take that for himself. And he does have a last stand buff with his LD ability. He does have self-sustain in battery, which is going to help him keep stay alive. He does re reduce the HP damage he receives, helping him survive. And there is he does have some party attack and max brave stat increases built into his kit. With his LD boards, he's going to now have party HP healing along with any excess converted to brave heal. And his indomitable will be receiving some changes, so he's going to improve his own brave damage by 30%. There's going to be a party brave regen at, at the start of every turn, and this is going to increase Indomitable's turn duration by two. I believe it's 12 now. So usually with Bosch, the way you, you play him is that you get all of his buffs and you taunt the enemies, and whenever his HP drops below the 50% HP threshold due to Indomitable, he will heal back up to 50%. And if Bosch is about to be nuked from massive amounts of brave damage, you guys see that he has last stand, so he it's very hard to kill off Bosch as long as he is above that 50% HP threshold, which is he's going to be healing constantly. So he is an amazing AoE HP tank if you guys don't have any form of tank for your team compositions. Now when it comes to his worthiness, I'm going to say he is in between somewhat and pity, a little bit more towards a somewhat depending on your team compositions, because I would say that we are in the point in the game, at least in the Lufenia era, where it's a little bit easier to pick and choose some of these upcoming units if you have other party members that can fill those roles. So if you have other forms of tanks, if you have other forms of, uh, like, for example, like Celeste, again, just some examples, Celeste or Daddy, then you should be okay. Of course, they do completely different things. Like Celeste has the capabilities to enhance your party members with ice while inflicting ice resist down. She has a magic type uh, brave damage absorber. Daddy-O, he has counter built into his kit. I mean, Celeste does have counters built into her kit also. So it really depends on what you want to do for your team compositions. All right, friends. So, but keep in mind that there is no free multi-draws on these banners. So 
you're going to be using your own gems to start off those gem pulls if you are going to chase for Bosch. Again, if you pulled them from before, then you are all set. Now, if you do happen to miss out on Bosch and would like to add him a little bit later down the line, he does repeat with Golbez's Burst Plus debut banner. So we will be getting Golbez Burst Weapon soon during Divine Alexander. And then Golbez does repeat later down the line with his Burst Plus, which his LD and Burst Weapon will be on there. And Bosch will be on that banner also. All right, friends. So if for some reason you're viewing this video at a different portion, then just keep in mind that he does repeat a little bit later down the line. All right. So not an overall bad, bad tank, truthfully. So if you guys are lacking in some kind of tank, he might not be a bad option to add to your team compositions for that survivability. All right, friends. Now the other unit on this on the other banner is going to be Terra, and she's going to be debuting with her LD and Burst weapon. She is a pure magic attacker in this game. So she is a non-elemental magic attacker. So what that means is that you can literally enhance her with any element in the game while, while inflicting the elemental resist down of that same element on the enemies just to allow Terra to hit harder. She is going to receive a rework that is going to see increases of uses for her Meltdown and, and her Meteor, her skill 1 and skill 2. So this is going to be 3 uses. Her Meltdown is going to do more damage with 80% HP Splash. And her Meteor, the Brave Hits, are going to become AoE with more damage. With her LD weapon, her brand new LD weapon, it's going to come with a buff. Unconditional, unconditional love for 4 turns. Pretend it's almost like lightning. So Terra will have the capabilities to act back to back to back to back with free ability uses during their, those turns absolutely for free. So it's like a magic lightning. Also with her unconditional love buff, she is going to increase her own magic attack by 30%. She's going to increase her HP damage dealt by 20%. And she has this very interesting buff, uh, brave refund effect that is going to refund her brave by 50% based on total brave damage dealt. Now my main concerns or what one thing I don't like about her LD is that it does not give her a way to increase her own brave damage kind of like some of these other characters like lightning can increase at least the party's brave damage or Paladin and Cecil. So you might want to pair her up with a unit that will increase her brave damage to take full advantage of the to total brave damage dealt brave refund she gets from her LD buff allowing her to hit harder. With her burst effect, it is going to be party wide that it's going to increase your party's overflows, increase your party's HP damage limits dealt plus 20%. There's going to be brave and HP uh, limit increases by 20%, and that brave refund effect will be given to the entire party in the form of that 50% brave refund based on total brave damage dealt. Now, other things that I actually did fail to just quickly mention is that she does have defense down debuffs with her meltdown and she does have speed down debuffs with her meteor abilities that she can inflict on the enemy so i guess just be mindful of that if you bring other um units that that rely on debuffs on the enemies as you might be fighting for those spots but they are not frame buffs so you can easily push them off if you need those slots now when it comes to her worthiness i'm going to say with her ld it i would seriously consider going for it especially if you need a magic type attacker because uh allowing her to act back to back giving her that brave refund based on how many by 50 percent of total brave damage dealt her burst effect i'm going to or her burst weapon i'm going to say it's going to truthfully vary i don't value it as much as i do to as other burst weapons that increase your party's brave damage with the burst effect but again it really depends on your team composition because you guys saw that i don't like the fact that she doesn't give herself brave damage up or even with her burst effect but we do have other units that can do that for her like for example sarah just there's one example or balthier even lightning or paladin cecil so if you put them on the same team composition okay tara is going to be doing a lot a lot of damage during that her burst mode or what you can do and i actually value this a lot a friend support terra with her burst weapon bring in that friend support terra use her burst ability you're gonna have the burst effect 50 percent brave refund based on total brave damage though go into your own character's burst mode for example like squall squall is going to be getting 50 percent brave re refund for everything he does especially with his follow-ups that means squall is going to be 
dishing out a lot more damage during his uh, burst mode, especially if you have someone like Sarah on the team or Paladin Sessa or some of those other units that increase your party's brave damage, okay? So when it comes to her burst weapon on its own, again, I don't value it as much as these other burst weapons, but with the proper team composition, with the proper brave damage up compositions, she, it, you're going to do a lot of damage with her. All right, friends, so that is my take with, with Terra with her LD and burst. Now, when it comes to her repeating later down the line, she has yet to repeat, but she is a burst character and burst characters, at least on the JP side of the game, they are receiving burst pluses. Right now, it has not been introduced yet. So the further we progress into the Lufenia Plus, uh, Burst Plus era, I, I'm guessing the stronger she is going to be as I can see her potentially getting perhaps another rework or some LD board adjustments, perhaps to include some brave damage up and let her hit harder, especially during the Lufenia Plus era. All right, friends, so that is my take for Tarot. And that is, and that is it for this video. All right, friends, so... Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. So first and foremost, your overall, overall thoughts about these characters, Bosch and Terra. Are you guys going to go for them? And and of course, please let me know what you guys think about this format as I start to narrow it down. And hopefully um, we have something to work with going forward. All right, friends, uh, please let me know. Be honest and let me know down below in the comments. I would truly appreciate that. And me personally, I already have Bosch. Bosch, I already have. Um, I did pick him up from before, so I'm very much looking forward to his LD boards. And Terra, I'm going to be throwing a lot of tickets on her debut banner. I'd be happy with just her LD. I'm not going to go ham for her burst, but it's going to be a huge bonus if I do pick it up. All right, friends? So remember all your wonderful comments down below. And until next time, friends, good luck and have a good one.